Hello my soccer universe, we have an international week coming up and so let's see what are interesting matches to watch. I'm wearing my pink Lask jersey as we'll see. Lask will play in Toronto and I actually think they might play in pink. Um, I've been going back and forth, black would make sense, but you know with Rosenberg playing in white and black I can see Lask only playing in pink and white. Let's see, this is my guess. The game I'm most excited about this uh, week, but we'll start in the Champions League because there are also quite some good matchups uh, coming. Uh, we have on Tuesday the early games, uh, not that great Galatasaray Brügge and Lokomotiv Bayer. However, late there are two standout ties that is Real Madrid Paris Saint Germain. Um, and Juventus against Atletico. Well, Juventus against Atletico, Juventus is already qualified, so uh, and Atletico needs a point. So this might not be the great matchup that it could be. Uh, and Real Madrid also needs a more or less a point or so, depending on the early or early game. But you know, uh, there's prestige in there. I think Real Madrid will want to make good on the loss against PSG. And I gotta say, if they play like they did on the weekend, let's see. Um, Spurs Olympiacos is basically to clinch it for Spurs and Atalanta, Atalanta Dynamo is one where you know um, does Atalanta have half a chance? They need to win two games. So, but yeah, uh, that group is anyway between Schachter and uh, Zagreb, the last two. A pretty good early game to, we do have on Wednesday where Valencia plays Chelsea. I think this is already a matchup that's uh, definitely worth watching because uh, that group is extra tight. And uh, we have to also see what Lil uh, will do against Ajax. The standout ties are, take your pick, Barcelona, B uh, Dortmund or Liverpool, Napoli. Um, in any case, I mean, Barcelona and Dortmund are two teams that are not playing all that great, but basically are more or less through to the next round, especially, especially since Dortmund uh, wins the tie, the head to head against Inter. Liverpool, Napoli, Liverpool is in the rare form, Napoli uh, not so much. So, yeah, we'll see. Genk, Salzburg, is, uh, Salzburg could edge closer to Napoli, but has to be seen how this will work. Let's go to the Europa League. There's a lot more uh, tight stuff happening there. I mean, as I already said, Rosenberg Lask is the game that I'll be watching. And uh, should they win that and Sporting win against PSV, those two are through. So that's kind of already exciting. Those are the late games. But we actually have three kickoffs this time around. And um, there are three matches at the early kickoff. First of all, we have the entire Group C, which is kind of tight. Uh, playing early, so this is Krasnodar, Basel, Trabzonspor, Getafe, Basel and Getafe are the ones that are good. And also United is playing very early at Astana, so uh, if you want to watch United, tune in early. Um, then um, we have at uh, the 7 o'clock, uh, close to 7 o'clock-ish uh, kickoff, I think the matches to watch are definitely uh, anything in uh, Group G, Feyenoord Rangers, Young Boy, Porto, those are great. I also think that uh, the group with Roma, uh, Wolfsburg and Gladbach is a super tight one. Uh, Roma needs to win at uh, Bajakshi here, similar for Wolfsburg, who already beat Gladbach 4-0. So uh, that's definitely interesting. So those would be the groups that I'm watching. Also the Alexandria, Wolfsburg, Santa Tien and Ghent one is not that bad. Now, uh, the late games, as I said, uh, Group D is for me the one. I also think Group B, Lugano, Copenhagen, Malmö, Dynamo, Kiev is interesting. Uh, Lazio has a last chance against Cluj. Um, they need a win and they need to also win the head-to-head -head there. And then we have Arsenal Frankfurt, which ended in... Uh, 3-0 in Frankfurt, so I don't know how this is gonna uh, go, but Frankfurt will need something because Standard is uh, looking pesky in that group. So yeah, those are just a few games that I think are worth watching. Um, just a note, um, when will I give my uh, some summaries of that one? I'll probably give you all, my, all the Champions League commentary in one video, uh, probably Friday morning. Uh, and then the Europa League commentary you will get Saturday. It's just uh, that's the most realistic part of how I will manage to do things this week. Um, and probably from now on it will take a little delay. But I'll try to pack in a lot of punch in those videos then. 
Anyway, let me know what you'll be watching uh, during this uh, European break. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh, like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.